July 7th, 2018. I'm bringing a uh, very exciting Amorphophallus update. These are the Amorphophallus paeonephilius that are in my front yard. And at last, after years of having had these things, I, I don't know how long I've had them. I think, I'm guessing five years maybe. And uh, I am finally going to get the flowers I have been waiting for. I was doing some weeding today and I found this huge thing coming out of the ground that totally does not look like the tree version or the, the leaf, next leaf stem coming out. This one's still too young to have a flower yet. But this one has both. Uh, this tall skinny one here, that's going to be another uh, leaf or tree. But look how thick this one is. That is way too fat to be another leaf coming out. So I think I'm going to get two flowers for the first time. That is so cool. That's another baby morph coming off the same corm. It must have a bunch of little uh, offsets that it's made there. This one definitely is, I'm quite sure that that's going to be a flower. I have never had a flower <laughs> and I'm very happy. I have been fertilizing these guys with dilute uh, flower bloom boosting fertilizer and I'm actually really surprised because I thought that when they come up in the spring for the first time that the flower came up first and then the leaf stage comes up which is this tree and then once the leaf stage is up you've missed your chance for the year to have a flower but I don't know maybe they do it in whatever order they feel like I sure hope so in case I hope that's wrong because I definitely want these to be my first ever flowers if anybody knows for sure please let me know and also I do have a question I ordered some Amorphophallus titanum seeds and I am not totally sure is this guy on eBay. If they are, they definitely look like Amorphophallus seeds, but they seem small. I'll post that video, so yeah. Just got these seeds in the mail today. These are supposed to be Amorphophallus titanum. Got them from some guy in Indonesia on eBay. I hope they're real. I seem to remember these being a lot bigger the last time I ordered some. I'll plant them, hope they're real, see what happens. Please let me know what you guys think of those. They seem awfully small to be Titan seeds, if they might be something else, and if I got gypped or what, or if I should definitely get more from this guy, though he's not listing anything at the moment. Alright, going to show some of the others. Actually, one more thing before I show the rest of my amorphs. Um, Let's measure this guy. This thing is really tall. So from the ground, from there, up to the leaves, looks to be about three foot eight inches, almost four feet tall. That is so cool. And uh, in other news, the three baby bluebirds that were in the nest box have fledged and flown away. So success. I'm so glad for that family. The adults are still hanging around. Here are some other morphs. These unknowns have mostly identified themselves. This one is a um, bulbifer. This is a Ceramatum venosum. Another bulbifer. Not sure what this one is. And it's young. Who knows? I don't know what these are. This could be Konjac or it could be... Um, Paeonifolius, like the ones out front. I just can't tell them apart in the leaf stage they look exactly like. So if anybody knows how to tell the difference, please let me know. And then two more bulbifers. Uh, this guy's bent over, but he'll be okay. We had a thunderstorm come in yesterday, a windstorm, and these guys just turned into parachutes and flew away. I had to pick them up this morning, but uh, they'll be okay. They move around a lot. They'll straighten up. It's amazing to me how these things actually veer around way more than sunflowers do. And 
here I have the uh, mix of Amorphophallus paeonifolius and a few konjacs. This, this one here is a konjac. I actually didn't lose the label to that one. But these guys here are paeonifolius, like the guys out in the front yard. And these are much taller. I think they're older. I am curious, uh, at the end of the year, when winter comes back around, I think I'm going to dig up that corn. I'm curious how big that is from when I planted that ages ago. Now, this one here is interesting. Move this guy out of the way. Okay. That's some better lighting. I think I have a, uh, a color variant here. Or a mutation as we say in aviculture um, because this is the normal stem color of paeonifolius but this guy is a light green instead of being dark green and he's got light greenish even lighter green spots does anyone know if, if this is a known color mutation and what is it called and if not do i've got something unique that i definitely should breed once it makes a flower Here is the rest of my collection. This is a Morphellus euloensis. 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 I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Uh, these are buried. This is the unknown potential Titan Arum. I hope they're real. I don't know. These guys I got as Morphophellus on copulus. I was like, copy, like, copy a picture. <laughs> I don't know. But they look cool in the photos. I'm show a photo of what the uh, flower and the plant looks like. And um, see what happens when they, they come up. Just something different. These are young bulbs that I pulled off last year. And they're growing for the first time yet this year of uh, Morphophallus maxwelli, maxwellii. Then we've got here more uh, konjacs, and these are some Cermanthin venosas that were growing wild in my yard. I had to dig up and rescue because some cat or raccoon or something stepped on that one, and I, I did manage to fix it. And this is my oldest Maxwellii that the others were taken from. Little bulbs, offshoots it made. It's just opening up this time this year. So that's the update on the uh, Morphophalluses so far. I am very happy with how they're doing this year.